On this weekend's spring game at Virginia Tech, the first chance for Hokie fans to see new coach Justin Fuente take the field. This morning, we're learning more about his family life, life in Blacksburg, and of course, his love of football. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire sat down for an exclusive interview with the coach and his wife Jenny to talk about their new hometown. Yeah, I did, and although Coach Fuente and his family have lived in the city of Memphis for the past few years, he's originally from Oklahoma and says he knew he always wanted to get back to an area where he could do some of the outdoor activities he loves, like fishing and hiking. I don't think I, could, I would do well uh, with a job that didn't allow me to go outside and 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 play which is kind of what practice is and for his family practice is also a time for his wife and daughters to interact with some of the other coaches families coach fuente says he has an open door policy on families at practice with many of the coaches bringing their kids and grandkids every now and then and when that happens things can get a little girly on the sidelines as the number of kids that are girls way outnumber the boys I don't know, there must be something in the water. We just haven't had a lot of boys on the staff, just historically, but um, there's a lot of squealing and, and yelling. You know, one day we were transferring from the practice field, we were going from the grass field into the indoor, and a bunch of the girls were kind of sitting in a circle, kind of by one of the garage doors that we enter in, and when the players came running, uh, you could just hear squealing and pigtails going everywhere. <laughs> and whether it's his own kids, those of the coaching staff, or young Virginia Tech fans, Coach Fuente says it's always interesting to watch how his players interact with them. And when it comes to his staff, the Fuente say their assistant coaches really are like family. Coming up in the next half hour, I'll have more on the tight-knit community of coaches and the funny story, or in their words, stories, of how Coach Fuente and Jenny met. I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.